a word. Not a sound. <laughs> Good. <laughs> And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish, not a sound. One more sound. It's all. And he saith unto them, Why are you fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose, and he rebuked the wind and the seas, and, and there was a great calm. saying, what manner of man is this, that even the wind and the seas obey him? What manner of man is this? What manner indeed? I have something important to say to you. It has come to my attention that some of you boys are singing God Save Our Old Tom Cat to the tune of God Save the Cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this once and only once. This sort of behavior will not do oh, will not do at all. And if I see or hear of any nasty little gutter snipe who does it again, I will cane every boy in this school, every single Fun of the national anthem to compare His Majesty King George V to an old Tom Cat and in the year of his Jubilee. <laughs> Sir, thoroughly ashamed of yourselves. You live in one of the greatest countries, in the greatest empire the world has yet seen, bar none. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> Miss Emerson. We'll read to you from Psalm 35. Listen carefully. Listen very carefully. <laughs> Psalm 35, <clears throat> the Song of David. <laughs> Another 
any of it. Joe, will you listen? Will you just listen to me? You know what I'm going to say. You're just going to have to get a different job or do better at the one you've got. What's yours should be mine. Should be mine! <laughs> young prince riding out in the deepest, darkest part of the forest, when he heard a young maiden singing at the top of a high tower that had no door. So sweet was the maiden's voice, and so enchanting was the glimpse of her pale face at the top of the high tower, that the prince fell in love with her at once. He knew he could not rest until he had won the maiden for his own. And so he stepped out from behind the trees and he looked up to the little window at the top of the tall, tall, tall tower that had no door. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, he called out. Rapunzel, let down your hair. Hearing the prince's voice and thinking it was the wicked old witch who had imprisoned her, Rapunzel let down her long, shiny, golden hair, all the way down, 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 down to the bottom of the tower. And, and, and the prince climbed up the tower on the tresses of her hair. Now, no noise or I won't go on. The prince climbed up and when he came to the window, Rapunzel stepped back in fear. She was frightened. She had never seen a man before, you know. Yes, some of you boys do well to laugh. She cried out in fear because she had never seen a man before. And his face was so nice. And his eyes were so kind. And his voice was so gentle. Very soon she stopped being afraid. As for the prince, well, what do you think he felt? Yes, exactly. He fell in love with her. It sometimes happens that way, you know. He looked at her, and he looked at her, and he decided that no one else in the whole kingdom, no one else in the whole wide world would be good enough or sweet enough to be by his side when one day he became king. $1,000. And what would you do with the $1,000, Mr. Um, uh, Parker? I need more capital for my business. And for your... 
sheet selling music. Yes, that's right. Songs. Uh -huh. On commission. Okay. I got a bad territory. See, oh. East Central Ontario? Mm -hmm. God, help me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to muscle in on the Ottawa Valley, too, oh. if you get me. Okay. Yes. Well, with any large sum of money, the question of adequate collateral cannot be evaded. Pardon? <clears throat> you see, your wife has a deposit account with us. Now, No, she... no, no, no. That's hers. Oh. That's something completely separate. Okay. Her father willed her that. Yes. But if she would be willing to put that up as collateral, then we... Don't would... you goddamn well understand? Really, Mr. Parker, that sort of language would not help you out in the tiniest little bit. Well, what will help? You tell me. Well, I have been trying to tell Without you. bringing my wife's cash into it which represents the only chance of your receiving a loan of the amount of which you are proposed. Now, it's nothing personal. But as far as the bank is concerned, you have very few tangible assets. Yeah, well, what about this, then? This is what you sell things with, brother. It's what's up here that matters. Mm -hmm. I can pick the right songs. I've got an instinct for it. And I get 30% of every song sheet I push to the retailer. The Nearly. Thirty percent of ten cents. <laughs> What's the use? What's the use of setting up your own business in a, this country today? The times are hard and difficult. Yeah, and you know why? Because of dry rot. Uh, That's why. It was salesmanship that made this country great, and it is salesmanship that is going to keep this country great. Dry rot. That's where the problem is. Right. Dry rot. What you got between your ears, pal. Yes. Well, I think we have concluded the useful part of our business today, Mr. Parker. Well, I'll just take my account somewhere else, then. That is your privilege, of course. I mean, they'll rake you over the coals, your head office will, when they find out. Yes, well, we all make mistakes now, don't we? Now, if you will, excuse me, I do have I, several other clients. I, I would settle for 500. I am sorry to have to tell you that the same difficulty will stand in the way of you getting any amount. You'd bring a man down. Just like that. You mean bastard! Good day to you.
alone, Perry Boom. Roll along while I crew. Shine above, lamp of love, Perry Boom. Way up there in the blue, maybe you're lonely too. Swinging by in the sky, Perry Boom. I need your tender light to make things right. I'm all alone tonight. Far away, shed your beams on, on, on Arthur. Stupid, bloody fool. How can you not remember? I was here two weeks ago. Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. Remember that day you wouldn't buy a dozen copies of Prairie Moon? What? Roll along Prairie Moon. Just as well, too. What are you talking about? Everyone's singing that song now. They might be singing it, but nobody's asked me for it. Well, they go where they know they can get it. People who sing in the streets are not the sort to come into my shop, Mr. Parker. Excuse me. May I help you? Uh, sheet music, please. Ah, for what instrument, please? The piano. Yes, and uh, was there a particular piece? Oh, oh yes. Uh, what's the title? Um, uh... Roll along, Prairie Moon. Um, uh, you don't mean Blue Moon, do you, madam? <laughs> no, a different sort of song altogether. More of a cowboy in it. Yes, well, um, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm waiting on uh, um, some copies to arrive any day now. Ah, uh, here you go. Newly arrived. <gasps> well, I'll be blown. Isn't that a bit of luck? Uh, just the one copy, Mr. Parker. It'll really help me out. Uh, uh, you know that uh, there's no money to be made in single copies. It's a dozen or nothing. I only want one copy. Yes, yes, of course, madam. <laughs> well, you know what? Here you go, ma'am. Oh, uh, copy and good luck to you. Excuse me, Mr. Parker, you have to give that to me first. We don't want to be in breach of the law. And what law is that? Any sale on these premises must be contracted across this counter. Uh, <clears throat> here you are, ma'am. That'll be 15 cents. That's a little steep, isn't it? Too many middlemen. Too many piddly little shops. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Have a nice day. <clears throat> I suppose I, I could take a dozen. Well, actually, if you could remember that other matter, I could uh, let you have them for free. It was always my impression you were a married man, Mr. Parker. Married? Oh, no, sir, not me. No, I can't go out giving you a young school teacher's name and address now, can I? <laughs> no, certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know my name? Eileen. 
Go away. No, 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 don't. don't. Please stop. In the music shop. Yes. There was a song. It's 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 like in a song. What? Songs tell the truth, they do. Please stay where you are. I I've been looking for you, Miss Epperson. For me? I've been looking everywhere for you. Everywhere. All my life I've been looking for you, Miss Epperson. I I don't understand. You're in my head. In my heart, in my soul. I want to talk to you. Please, will you let me talk to you? Eileen? <clears throat> That's not your husband, is it? It's my brother. My brother? Please, I've got to talk to you. I, I don't even know who you are or anything. Arthur. I'm Arthur. And I love you. <laughs> Don't be silly. Actually, Arthur's on, on one of his little trips. At least he, oh, no, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong whatsoever. I was wondering, I was wondering if you'd like to pop by or maybe, oh, no, no, nothing's wrong. What could be, Arthur? He's fine. Absolutely, yes. Some other time then. All right, Irene. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Bye. Oh, Arthur. Don't leave me. Territory, no doubt about it. 
we'd all be smarter following the roads. This country's going to pot. Today won't be any different from yesterday. Thumbs fucking down. What do you say, Arthur? Hard times, ain't it, Arthur? I'm sorry, what did you say? Don't suppose you're doing very well either, Arthur. Not doing very well. Wake up, old buddy. <laughs> oh, I'm doing very well. Very well indeed. I'm heading for the cuckoo house, sorry, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got a chance. You know what? I'll tell you guys something. Everyone who's ever lived in the entire history of this dominion would want to be me if they knew what I felt like right now. What's wrong, Arthur? <laughs> That's the trouble with you guys. You walk around with grit and gravel in your eyes. Hey! <laughs> you can't see. You can't begin to see what a fantastic world it is we live in. Oh, come on, get your goddamn chins up off the floor. It's beautiful. It is. Shiny. The whole place is just... Shiny. Can't you see it? Don't you feel it? Sounds like a crate of eggs to me. Sliced bologna is more like it. <laughs> well, it would be you, wouldn't it? What do you mean? Listen, years and years I've sat in pubs like this, with guys like you, and towns like this, and I've never really seen them for what they really are. Huh? You know, I've had my ups and downs. We all have. And I've sniffed around the skirts here and there. <laughs> I'll say that again. Hey, I'm not going to deny it. But the entire time, without me knowing it, there was like this cotton wall between what was inside of me and what was outside of me. You understand? Sure, Arthur. Well, of course you can't see it because you've got packing and padding all around you. You too. What exactly are you on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me. Yeah, well, it would be you, wouldn't it? <clears throat> what do you mean? Well, because. Well, because. You don't know the young lady in question, do you? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's impossible to explain. It's not the sort of thing you can put into words. Oh, oh yes, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> stuff around. All these songs. All these lovely songs. I always believed in them. It's faith in the goods. Like you and your brushes. You gotta believe in what you sell. I always wanted to be a salesman. I never wanted to be anything else. 
I never really knew why I believed in what I saw. But there are things, there are things too big and too important and 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 too goddamn simple for all that la-di-da poetry and and, and, and and books and stuff. And everyone knows it. Everyone feels it. Or at least they ought to. And they know it. They bloody well know it when a dance song comes along. What? Those songs? Listen. I'm not what you call a clever man. I mean, I've, I've had a bit of Jerry's shell in my skull ever since the trenches. <laughs> Fucking laugh that was, eh? But we stuck it out. We made it through. And it was in what we sang. They were worth more than dry blankets. They were those songs. No. No, it was more than that. It was. It's more than just packing up your troubles in your fucking kit bag. It's. 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 I can almost taste it. It's. It's looking for the blue, isn't it? The gold. That hatch of blue sky and the gold of the morning. A look in someone's eyes. It's it, it's pennies from heaven. Only we can't see them. They're they're clinking and clinking all around us all the time. All we gotta do is bend down and pick them up. Well, pennies aren't much good to me. Shut up and listen a minute. We're please. not on this world for very long, and the things we've seen, the things guys with their pipes and the tubes hanging out, and bloody hell you say, fucking hell, if there is a God and he made this, then... I won't say it. But we made this. Or those in charge did. Christ, they'll log a man up for flashing his Johnson on Charlotte Street, but they'll, they'll pin a medal to his chest for blowing a thousand men to bits. The things, the horrible, ghastly things we've seen. We know her. We were there, we've seen them too. Probably nothing compared to what we're gonna see. But somewhere, somewhere you see, the sun is always shining. And you know where? It's inside of ourselves, in our heads. That's what I found out last night. When I saw her, it was like, oh, she has a way of hesitating, the way she moves, and the way she talks. Do you know what I mean? No, you don't. It's, it's what she sparked off in me. She put the meaning in those songs. The real meaning. I, I always knew they were true. And they are, they goddamn well are. This is great. I'm talking out of turn. Them songs. Most of them were dreamed up in a back office somewhere. It's just a business, Arthur. You're ignorant. Ignorant! By the way, Arthur, how's the wife? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you mind your own business, huh? <clears throat> What's that all about? Cuckoo! <laughs> <laughs> might be right. Well on his way around the bend. Poor bastard. I wonder what she was like, though. <laughs> she sounds pretty alright. <laughs> ah, they're all the same in the dark. No sense looking at the mantelpiece when you're poking the fire now, is there? <laughs> <laughs> work, work, work. It's all work, isn't it? <laughs>